Good morning, everyone. We are from Group Three. Our title is 4.2 Specific Heat Capacity. The picture here shows two different situations. The sun heats up the sand and the seawater at the same time, but the sand is hotter compared to the seawater. So, what is the reason behind this? This can be explained on the concept of heat capacity. The sand actually has lower heat capacity and the seawater has higher heat capacity. So, the lower the heat capacity, the faster the object gets hot. In this, in this case, sand which has lower heat capacity will get hot quickly and the seawater which has high heat capacity will get hot slowly. Heat capacity is the quantity of heat needed to raise the temperature of the object by 1 degree Celsius. So look at this formula. Capital C is the heat capacity and then Q is the quantity of heat supply. Delta theta is the change in temperature. So C equal to Q over delta theta. Since Q here is heat supply, so the unit for heat is the same unit as the energy which is joule. And then the temperature is in degrees Celsius. Now we know that the SI unit for heat capacity is joule per degree Celsius. Again I repeat, if the object has lower heat capacity, it can heat it up and cool down faster than the object that has higher heat capacity. Here's an example question. When 100 J of heat is supplied to objects S and Y, object S experiences a rise in temperature of 2 degrees Celsius and object Y 4 degrees Celsius. What are the respective heat capacity of object S and Y? So here, we use this formula to solve the question. Heat capacity for object S, 100 J divided by 2 degrees Celsius. So we get the answer 50 J per degree Celsius. Same as Y, we get the answer 25 joule per degree Celsius. As a conclusion, object S has a higher heat capacity than object Y. Therefore, the increase in temperature of object X is less than object Y. Heat capacity of an object increases when the mass of the object increases. For example, in the diagram, it has a, a full kettle filled with water take a longer time to boil compared to a water in a hard fuel kettle. This shows that the water of bigger mass has a higher heat capacity compared to the water of smaller mass. This picture shows two bowls of soup. After being left to cook for some time, the soup in a large bowl is hotter compared to the same soup in a small bowl. So, which has the high heat Year heat capacity. The larger the bowl shop has bigger heat capacity, hence it will cool slower. The smaller bowl suit has lower heat capacity, hence it cool faster. This is the another examples of daily situations involving heat capacity. The desk box of a car has a lower heat capacity compared to the cushion. The absorption of heat energy from the sun caused the dust balls to experience a higher rise in temperatures compared to the cushion. Specific heat capacity of substance. Specific heat capacity C of a substance is the quantity of heat needed to raise the temperature of one kilogram mass of the substance by one degree Celsius. This is the formula for specific heat capacity, where Q is quantity of heat supply, the unit in joule, M is mass, the unit in kilogram, delta theta is change of temperature, the unit in degree Celsius or Kelvin. Unit for specific heat capacity is joule per kilogram per degree Celsius or joule per kilogram per Kelvin. Quantity of heat Q that is absorbed or released by an object can be determined using the formula Q equal to mc delta theta. For example, 
the specific heat capacity of the metal aluminum is 900 joule per kilogram per degree Celsius. This means 900 joule of heat needs to be supplied to 1 kilogram of aluminum to increase its temperature by 1 degree Celsius. Smart info. The formula for heat capacity is C equal Q over delta theta. And the formula for specific heat capacity is C equal Q over M delta theta. Q equal PT, where P is power of heater and T is period of time heater is switched on heating time. So PT equal to Q, Q equal to MC delta theta. Every substance has its own value of specific heat capacity. Table 4.2 shows examples of substances and their specific heat capacity. How can these values be determined? Specific heat capacity equal to energy transfer, the unit in joule, over mass, the unit in kilogram, multiple temperature change, the unit in degree Celsius. Let me tell you some info. Water is a system which has high specific heat capacity, which has 4,200 joule per kilo per degree Celsius. Water needs to absorb a large um, amount of heat to have a small rise in temperature. This makes water a good cooling agent. Metal, on the, on the other hand, has lower specific heat capacity compared to non-metal. Therefore, object made from metal get hot quickly when supplied with an amount of heat. Example, I have 3 kg of lead 1 increase its temperature from 40 degrees Celsius to 50 degrees Celsius via heating. I know the energy I have transferred to the lead is 3840 joule. What is the specific heat capacity of lead? This is the formula used to solve the question. This is the solution. The final answer is 128 joule per kilo per degree Celsius. Application of specific heat capacity. Selection building materials of traditional house in various climate zones. Wood has a high specific heat capacity and gas hot slowly. In warm weather regions, Traditional how are building from wood which function as an insulator of heat from the scorching sun. In cold weather regions, traditional house are also built from wood. Heat from fires lit in the wooden house cannot flow out because wood function as a good heat insulator. The picture besides shows the wooden house in warm climate and cold climate. Cooking utensils. Wood are made of metal with low specific heat capacity. As such, food can be fried at a high temperature in a short time. Clay pots, on the other hand, are made of clay which has a high specific heat capacity. As such, food can stay hot for a long time. The body of a pot is made of aluminum which has a low specific heat capacity. This enables the pot to heat up quickly. However, the handle of pot is, is made from plastic which has a high specific heat capacity. This ensures that the handle of the pot gets hot slowly and is safe to handle. The picture besides show the clay pot, metal wall and copper base with lower specific heat capacity. Car radiator system. Burning of fuel in car engines produce large amounts of heat. This heat needs to be released to avoid overheating the engine. Water has a high specific heat capacity and is used as a cooling agent. A pump with pump water into the engine block. Water will flow through the engine block to absorb heat produced. 
hot water flows to the radiator. Cold air is sucked in by fans so that heat in the hot water can be released quickly through cooling fins. The picture beside shows the car radiator system. Outer layer of space capsule. Space capsule on its journey back to Earth encounters air resistance when entering the atmosphere. This friction increases the temperature and causes the space capsule to burn. Therefore, the outer layer of a space capsule is made from substance which with, with, the, with a high specific heat capacity and melting point. Production of materials like, uh, of latest materials in the construction of green buildings. The Diamond Building Energy Commission is built with an insulating concrete roof. That is a roof fitted with insulator using styrofoam box. Styrofoam has a high specific heat capacity and can reduce the absorption of heat from the surroundings to reduce the temperature inside the building. Sea breeze. Land has a lower specific heat capacity that, than the sea. Therefore, temperature on land rises more quickly than temperature in the sea during daytime. The air on land becomes hot and rise outwards. Cold air from the sea moves towards land as sea breeze. Land breeze. Sea has a higher specific heat capacity than land. So, temperature in the sea drops more slowly than temperature on land at night. Hot air above the sea rise outwards. Cold air above the land moves towards the sea as land breeze. The picture shows the process of sea breeze and land breeze. Thanks for listening.